Unit cost is very similar to unit rate. The difference between unit cost and unit rate um, is that unit cost is really used when we are comparing uh, prices per ounce or price per whatever. So in this case, I have um, found what a price tag might look like for some sweet peas, if you like sweet peas. And notice it's 80 cents, but in the corner here, they gave me this 5.3 cents per ounce. That 5.3 cents per ounce is that unit cost, or they called it unit price. It's really the same thing. So depending on where you do your grocery shopping, you might already have this on the um, little sticker that's on the shelf. So use it. I use it all the time when I go grocery shopping because I'm a math nerd, of course, and I like to get the best deal. Um, how did they find that? Well, they found the price, which was the 80 cents divided by ounces, which was 15. And when you divide 0.8 by 15, you get 0.05333, 3, 3, 3, et cetera. And so they have rounded that, of course, to 5.3. So they've moved it. Since they're labeling this in cents rather than in dollars, uh, most of the time you might see it look like this, 0 0.053 cents per ounce. So I am thirsty and need some electrolytes apparently, and I want the most economical purchase for these different options. Of course, it makes sense that we're finding price per ounce rather than ounce per price. So that's how we will set up each of these rates to find our unit cost. So the first one would be $3.64 ounces, which we'll divide in just a moment. The second one would be, I'll move this over here, 410 for, we have four 24 ounce bottles. So 24 times four would be 96 ounces. And then this one would be $3.90 for six 12 ounce bottles. We would have to take six times 12 to get 72 ounces. I'm gonna take these three, I'm going to use my calculator to find the price per ounce. For my first option, it is 4.68, etc. cents per ounce. Now, of course, this is money, and so normally I would just go ahead and round this and say that this one is five cents per ounce but sometimes you get two that are really stinking close, and so you're going to want to write those extra decimals out uh, just so that you can compare properly. Option B gives me 0 0.042708, etc. So notice that four is the same either way. Um, if I rounded that to the nearest cent, that would be four cents per ounce. My last option is 0 0.05416 repeating. So if I were to round that, that would also be five cents per ounce. But I'm very cheap and I want the best deal possible. So even though these both say five cents per ounce and this is four cents per ounce, let's rate them by the best purchase. So this one is the cheapest purchase because I have 0 0.0427, so it's four cents per ounce. So this would be the winner, option B. Um, between the two, they are not the same price per ounce, even though they're both five cents per ounce. I would certainly take this A as my second option and C as my third option because this is the most expensive. If you want to buy some conditioner, which is the better, uh, better price, better buy? So again, it makes more sense to do price per ounce. So for my first, I would do $5.99 over 40 ounces. And for my second, I would do 325 over 22 ounces. Use your calculator to compute both of those prices. For my first option, the price of conditioner, apparently I am only buying conditioner or shampoo. I don't get to buy both. Kind of a sad state of affairs. But here's what I get for my unit price, 0.14975. For my other, 
I get 0.147727 and the 27 repeats. So if I'm only buying shampoo or conditioner, which I can't imagine why, but if that's the case and I'm trying to get a better buy, I would choose, of course, the 22 ounces of shampoo because I'm paying 14.7 cents per ounce as opposed to 14.9 cents per ounce. 